Okay. I hit the wrong button when I came back. Damn. So I'm going to have to go on and see if I could put the two together. I can do this. Of course I can do this. So let me show well, why don't I just make this a separate one? And I'll go get the... Let's just make this boggy creek blankets. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. So let me show you the blankets that I've made. And Boggy Creek uh, Brigade opening of blankets will be tomorrow night starting at 6 o'clock. Um, they have a special guest coming. And I'll be on to show you... All, I'll show all of my blankets that I have um, done. But what I told you in the other video is my friend um, uh, uh, Joanne. I'm telling you, I have just got the best friend there. I, I it just is amazing um, how laid back she is. She's not hyper. And I'm laid back, so it just kind of, we kind of compliment each other. We get along really well. Um, I can, um, I love, I just love her. That's all there is to it. So, that's it. And she's from Nova Scotia, Canada. One of my Canadian friends. Okay. Now, this one, I think I just finished. Because it was laying up on the table, so I must have just finished that. And these are from the ones, the ones that I got um, last week. Now, I tried putting all of these together. And I wanted to put either a yellow or a green and then, you know, salmon color. But I didn't have any. So I used what I have. So this wonderful lady made a whole bunch of these. And wait till you see the blankets I put together with those. And this is called the Moss Stitch. There is a tutorial. Daggone it, I was going to have that for you. But if you look in my comments, in my comments from last week, she tells you what video or that you could watch to see how to make the Moss Stitch uh, square. Okay. All righty. So I put this one together. And I tried to match up the colors, like the blue, you see the blue, and then here you see the gold, and there's gold in the ones, and then uh, the pink, I got a little bit of pink and red there, and then I was able to get the purples. So you see I went three and two, three, so I did all the puffy ones, every other one. And I just did a um, back post, a front post. Uh, border just something kind of just kind of blends in with it. I didn't want to make it too much because of all the busyness that's going on with this but this is kind of a heavy one too and I just loved making it I really did I really love making this one there's that one and then now here's another blanket that I made out of the moss stitch squares. You'll love this. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Isn't this beautiful? I just loved these squares. Look at them. So I didn't have enough to do an all red one. I didn't have enough to do the green one. So I said, okay, let's mix. So I mixed and I popped them with gold. Gold, I put them together with colored gold. But isn't that pretty? I had so much fun putting that together. And I put, um, on this one, I put six across instead of five. I don't know why. I think it's because I wanted to use up the greens and the golds. But, I mean, reds and greens. So it could be a Christmas. Could be a Christmas. And I just used a um, V stitch. See, I just used a V stitch uh, border. Didn't want to make it too much because I just wanted it to just complement uh, this blanket. But uh, and these are all sparkly. So I just and it oh cushy cushy. 
think you're going to enjoy. I love this. And then I put, I don't know if I showed you this. I kind of think I did. The poinsettia one. This is all the poinsettias. I think I showed you this last week. Let me see. Oh, okay. I did. I showed you this last week. I know I did. I'm pretty sure I did. So we'll pass on re revisiting this one. And I'll show you. Okay. Now here's the another one from the moss. The moss stitch one. And I did this at the in the pinks, blues, and yellows. Look at that. And then I used the um teal, blue, or whatever it is, um, to put them together. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And the border is just a half double crochet. Just something simple. I just love that one. So you'll see them again tonight. And let's see. I usually know which one. All right, the bunny one I showed you. Show you this one. I think I showed you this one too, or the mixture of colors. So I think it was just those five that I hadn't shown you yet. Yep. So we got these. So, so I sent six bags. I love this moss stitch one. I love this one too. That's a heavy one. So these will be all ready for tomorrow night. And I got three other bags in there that I haven't shown them yet. Whew. And the one I'm doing, and then I've got one that I haven't finished yet. I finished it today, I should, because I'm just going around with a half double crochet. And then I haven't decided what kind of border I'm going to put. And I just put my foundation. Uh, my foundation stitch on it and then I'll work on uh, what I want to do with it um, yeah so I'm busy I'm a busy girl so I have to do is stitch that stitch my thing I forgot I will try to put these two together that's ridiculous I can't believe I did that oh I do have some mail let me show you the mail I'll go get the mail, and then that's it. Then we'll go home. <laughs> I'm already home. I think I'm home. <laughs> it's not much, I promise. I think it's just three. Okay. This one is from Paula from New York. Miss Paula. We got <laughs> we got a card. I did open these in advance. And I didn't look I didn't look. I promise I didn't look. Miss Joanne took out a, a lot of um, trash for me, and I got stuff to go to Goodwill, and I got, um, there's, oh, and Joanne, I just want to let you know if you're watching this, is that someone took the uh, table. I put a coffee table, and it's a Bahama, 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 Tommy Bahama coffee table, a nice one I made out of, um, I thought it was nice out of bamboo and then some can beautiful canisters and they're all gone so it worked okay so I got a card and it's I'm sorry I'm not I this was a spur of the moment thing it says Miss Billy thank you for you do to Boggy Creek finally PJ here are some squares and appliques for your blankets 
Be well. God blessings to you. Thank you, B. Thank you, PJ. Okay, PJ, let's see. Ooh, I see some pretty stuff already. <laughs> All right, look at this. We got this red as Christmas trees. Look at that. And then we got a wreath. And just that one. And some of these. And a couple, three reds. And a white. And a green. These are Christmas. The next one that I make after the one I've got laid out will be a Christmas tree. I mean a Christmas blanket. Another Christmas blanket. I think I've made enough Christmas blankets. Now my goal is to make a 100. So far I have made, I think I wrote it down somewhere, 59. So, and you just saw a few there and there were more. Okay, now, oh, I've got a bunch of these, uh, and I need to look. I've got a bunch of these already that I have saved because I know that people will be sending me more. So I might have enough to, to put a nice blanket together with these So if I haven't done it already because I was thinking of using the, like, the purple that's in there, uh, something like that. So, and then we have some black and white bunch of black and white ones I do have some dark ones that I've been saving to before you know I haven't got that many black but um, I got purple and colors like that and look at here I got some purple here too and black which will work in perfect with those that is black and this is purple very nice I'll put that right there with that one and then we've got, oh, she's got decals. I mean, applique decals. What's wrong with me? Here we go. Look. we got pumpkins. Nice pumpkins. And we got, look at this. We've got Christmas trees. Lots of Christmas trees. And we've got oh, Frosty the Snowman. Isn't that cute? And we have, oh, look at this. We have a wagon. Will you look at that? A wagon. Isn't that tree with a, with a tree on the back or front or whatever? Oh, it's adorable. And it's got its little wheels. And then we got, I would say this is a Christmas package. And we have a, a wreath. Cute. Thank you so much. And another wreath out there. Another wreath. Thank you so much. These will definitely go on me, Chris. Where? Oops. Thank you, PJ. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. And she sent one of these uh, sachet boutique chassés. They make. Um, Take up they they're like this and then you then you can crochet them together and then you can make a, a scarf for yourself or whatever. I used to make a lot of these. Put that back. We'll make a scarf out of it for sure. Pretty blue one. I like I like it like that. Thank you, PJ. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then we have a package from, I think it's uh, Zuma. I think it's Zu, Zu, Zuma, Z-U-L-M-A, and she's from Florida. St. Cloud, baby, St. Cloud. Ooh. See what she's got. Oops, here's a card. To Billy. Consider this a paper shout out. That's cute. You're doing a great job. Thank you for all you do, Billy. I watch you all the time. TV, love, on TV. Love pronunciation. Zulma. Zulma. Zul. Z O O L M A. Zulma. 
I think I've got that right. Thank you so much. And she said, oh, the heck? And we've got we got some yellow ones. All right. Look at that. We got yellow, yellow and green, springy, more yellow, yellow and orange, red. And put this. She's got something smelly. Oh, we got some black. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the black. I'm gonna put the black with the other black. And we got some salmon and pink. blue ones. Well, yep, yeah, blue, royal blue, kind of a royal blue color. Another black. Let me put that black up there. Oh, look at the little heart. You know, and I have those little ones. That will go with, with those little ones that I had the other day. It has the hearts. Absolutely. We will do something with those. Thank you so much, Zulma. Zula. Last package. Let's just pour these baby caps here. Oh, we got the max case. Wait a minute. Put them in two bags. That was great. Okay. I think this is a note. I put lipstick on and then I had lunch and it took my lipstick off. Huh. Look look at that date. I just kept saying things that I wanted to make for you. Better late than never. Is this is you, Kathy McGee? It is. Kathy McGee. Oh, that's the Longer Burger. I have one, and I use it for my um, for all my uh, threads and stuff. Yeah, I know. I still have the lining and everything, though. I've had that for a long, long time. Kathy McGee. I like that name, McGee. Dear Billy, here are a few squares for you to assemble into blankets. I am a smoker. I tried hard. I don't smell it really don't. I tried hard to rid the smoke smell. I pray I accomplished that. Yep, you did. One mark for you. Enclosed are two items. A kitchen boa that I made for you. Maybe it will help keep you in the kitchen. <laughs> Dream on. A magnet so you never forget me. I won't forget you, that's for sure, Kathy McGee. I think I yeah, it'll stick you on my on my refrigerator. I'm pretty cute thirty years ago. <laughs> That's thirty years old. Oh my goodness. Uh, I look in the mirror now and say, What happened? I do the same thing, Kathy. My gosh. Oh my gosh, what in the world happened? I don't know. Anyway, I watch all of your vids. I love you your humor. I wish you were up to making more videos. You are very creative. I am 74 years young. Well, God bless you. I pray that I am still able to make all the things that I enjoy as I age. Uh, take take good care of yourself. Hugs, Kathy McGee, Philly girl. I am not on social media. That's okay. And she's got an email address. Okay. Well, Kathy McGee, I think you and I have a lot would have a lot of fun together. I'm 79. I'll be 80 in a few months, three months. So, um, yeah, this is fun. Thank you so much. Let's see. All right, let's go here. Let's see what she says. These appliques were attached with fabric glue. Okay. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, crunchy little bag. No, I don't smell the smoke, that's for sure. You did a good job. Of course, I'm going to have a asthma attack from all the perfume shit that you I'm just teasing. We've got a happy face, and we've got, oh, my God. Okay, so we got a happy face, and we have a Grinch. Look at that. Well, these are pretty. And then we have 
a wreath. Oh, I love the way you made that. Look at the way she made that. Isn't that cool? Very cool. And look, we have a package Santa belt, I guess. And we have, oh my goodness, I just love these. Look at this. The skull with the bat. Oh, now this is going to be hard to let go of. But look at this one. See the cat? Oh, oh that is so cute. And we have a three-legged cova. And then we have Jojo, eat your heart out. Look at that spider. Isn't that great? Oh, my gosh. These are just precious. All oh, these are going to be so much fun. With this combination, what, what was sent earlier, it's going to be wonderful. Okay, so now we've got another batch. Kathy McGee, Kathy McGee. Okay, these are these are green sparkle, and then there's these green variegated. Look at that. Oh, that looks good. That's a pretty cool color. And then we have some regular green, white, lime green, purple. That is purple, and green and yellow. Got those. And then we've got a stack of red. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I needed red. Thank you very much. I needed red. Because I have used all my reds. And I hate these ties. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I hate them. Okay. So we got red. We needed red. That's good. And I needed gold. You did good, girl. You sent me everything I need. Look at these. Look at these. Oh, I love it. Thank you so much. Now, I'm only going to accept squares through the end of December. And then I'm putting away the hook. I'm hanging up my hook, baby, after I get this. <laughs> now, look at the applique. Let's see what we got. We have a witch's hat. And we have, looks like we got a bat. Look at his little beady eyes. The bat. Little beady eyes. <gasps> oh, look at that little pussy cat. Oh, my God. That's a little kitty hat. I mean, kitty face. And then we have a little lime cat, a little black cat. And we have a little yellow cat and another black cat. Aren't they cute with their little tails? Oh, I love them. Kathy, I love them. I love this. Here. These applicates were attached with fabric glue. Okay. And then we got, oh, look, I love these pumpkins. I do love these pumpkins. I love the way those pumpkins are made. And look at this. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much. Oh, I might not be able to put them on a no, I will. I'll put them on a plane. And then we have some three-leaf clovers. And another one. And three, three, of, three of them. Yep, three. There we go. Oh, my gosh. Oh, 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 Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. We have a, another little wreath. I said I was going to do another Christmas one before I saw this, right? Oh, I can't wait. And look, little snowmen. Aren't they adorable? Oh, Kathy, they are so precious. You keep making them, honey. You'll, as long as you, uh, even now with the arthritis and stuff, I I push ahead. Um, and then at night, <laughs> I put Vicks 
Vicks Vapor Rub on my joints because they are just they get so sore and inflamed. This this hand has gotten really bad. This finger and then the knuckles on this hand. And we have some gorgeous trees. Look at the trees. Aren't they gorgeous? I've got a whole box of these things. Oh, right. And now, something for me. A little gift for you, Billy. A kitchen boa. I goofed and accidentally cut a hole. <laughs> hey, honey, you got to do that all the time. <laughs> Have y'all ever seen one of these that go around like this, see? And then you can wipe your hands when you're cooking or whatever. I think you did a good job. You do bit at least you keep them straight. Well, we'll cut those little strings off. <laughs> yeah, they're just, you wrap them around. I've got one that, um, that Joanne gave me. I think she got it at a craft fair or something. I think you did a good job. Oh, this looks professional. You might be professional. What am I saying? You did a good job. I like it. Thank you so much. I I should wear it all the time, especially when I eat. <laughs> I'm always trying to wipe my hands on something. Well, thank you very much. Oh, these are great, great great stuff and I appreciate it so much and y'all are just give, keeping me busy that's all there is to it so Kathy think about this when I retire from doing these these blankets I'll turn it over to you I'll gift it to you so that you can carry it on <laughs> ah, are you sweating now have you started sweating yet Kathy <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I've never met Kathy before. I, I recognized her name. So I'm talking to her like she's, you know, a friend right next door or something. <laughs> mm. Okay. Well, these, these uh, cards go to Foggy Creek. And my friend Joanne that was here, she... Um, she and I are going to go to Boggy Creek. Look at me. I'm a mess. To Boggy Creek in uh, March when we take up all the blankets. Because I'll, uh, I'll have a car load of blankets also. So this will go into my kitchen. And uh, for me to use. I think I might put this right next to my chair so that I can put it on when I eat. <laughs> I might need it. <laughs> I do need it. I got a little stuff all over. So anyway, thank you guys so much. This is so much fun, and I can't wait. Um, I got all my stuff to get. I, all I have to do is get a different size balls. But um, I'm getting. I, I'm going to work next couple, two or three weeks. I'm going to work on my uh, Christmas, you know, my Christmas sale thing. And I don't, I have a sweater, but I don't think it's going to be ready for that. So it's going to be, you know, like, um, uh, just for example, I'll try to make as many bags as I can, because I know you guys like bags, uh, like some little Christmas bags that you could put gifts in and put in people's stockings and stuff like that. Or um, I'm going to make some bowl cozies. Um, just whatever I, I, I come up with. I'm going to cut some more um, Dammit dolls. Here's this one. I have four in that red basket there. I have a few coin purses that I made, but not out of the stuff that I had made before. Not using the same yarn that I used before. Um, so I might whip out a few of those. Um using the, um, the the thicker cord because it makes it it makes it last better or something. Um, and I did order um, some 24/7 cotton 
I think 24-7 cotton makes the best uh, bags. And I want to make one of my standbys, my boho, boho bag. So I got a strange looking color today. So we'll see. But I would like to have that. And then whatever else. If if there was a discount for that hour, like 30% off, and I got like $7.50 off of four of them. So um, if, I go on sa if they go on sale again, I'll um, look like I got a mustache. Huh. Hey, things grow where you wouldn't think they would grow when you get old. But be prepared, my friends. Be prepared. It ain't easy. But it's a lot of fun. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, and I did want to tell you just a little chit-chat here at the end. Um, I did go over to the uh, office on Friday, I think it was. Had a talk with the manager or assistant manager, whatever she is. And I went over and I told you, now here, I said, here's what I got. I said, this is a foreign, it's a foreign, um, a foreign limited partnership. And it's owned by these three guys. And these three guys work for this place. And then this place, da, da, da. And I went right, I don't even think she knew. And I said, this one guy, his name was, I don't know, I forgot. Zanza was his last name, I think. And I said, he lives in D.C., and I have his number, and I called his office, which I did. I never called back because I figured, well, why don't we go through the chain? So we did. So anyway, so that was Friday. So today is what, Tuesday? So they came today, and I had given her a list, and I showed her where the, the window is coming out of the casing. It has come out of the casing, and it's just there. And there's a crack there. And he's, I don't know what they're doing. He's going to come in and he's going to clock up and down where the window meets the casing. And I said, okay, you, you do what you have to do. Just, just to basically to keep it from falling in on me in the next strong wind. Right? Just like the caulking did, you know, that they did before. And then when it when we had the storms, uh, the water came right through the caulking and the paint and all that crap that they did. Well, I told them, I said, well, you do what you want to do. But I said, you know and I know. These windows need replaced and there's a structure problem somewhere. And they agreed with me. They really did. They agreed with me. And they said, well, you know, right now... Um, it's end of the year and end of the their fiscal year, and so they're working on getting the right contractors out. Um, they've got a, a long list already of repairs that need to be done to the to the building and um, to the apartments, you know, from water damage and all that stuff. Now, we, we don't need a hurricane; just a good rain will give us water damage. So I said that I'd like to have them, you know, can you have someone come in here and check for mold and mildew? I said, because I'm having a terrible time breathing. And um, so they said that they, the guy that does the carpet has a device that can, can determine whether you have mold or mildew. I said, well, I want to be there because I want to see the device. And I want to see it turn red or green or yellow, whatever color it's supposed to turn. Because I, I don't trust any of them. I'll tell you, I don't. You know, I said, we pay rent here. And I said, the hurricane two years ago, our security system went out on the building. It's still out. So she tells me that is their priority, that it should be done this before the end of the year. I said, oh, okay. Yeah. So we'll, we'll play with that. We'll go with that. So I talked to my sister, and, and we're, we're going to try to 
she needs to move, I need to move, and we can't live together. We're sisters, we love each other, we're both old. She's in her 70s, I'm in my 70s, and it would be hard to live with, I've lived by myself all my life, so I haven't had to share anything. I mean, I share, but I mean, I haven't had to share my bed or share my food or share my time or be cognizant of someone sleeping and I'm awake and all that stuff. So, no. So, it's just easier for me to, um, I've done that, you know, and I, no, no, can't, can't do it now. I'm tired. I'm old. Sick half the time. I don't need all that stuff. So, anyway, we're going to think about moving in a complex, you know, in the same complex. And that way we'll be there for each other. If she doesn't want to drive at night and I do, we could do that or. You know, we kind of kind of take care of each other, do stuff together or whatever. So maybe I can teach her a few things. I doubt it. You'd have to want to learn something if you, you know. Me, I want to learn everything. And I'm running out of time. And it's pissing me off. So that's why I want to get this, these uh, project bags done for, for you good people and then work on my Christmas sale and and keep doing my blankets. And once the season's over for blankets, that's it. I'm done, baby. I'm done. So I'm sort of retiring from from things because it's it's taken a toll on me. Like I can make one bag a day. I made two yesterday. And last night my legs hurt so bad. And it's the neuropathy. It was like somebody was standing there with an ice pick, stabbing at my foot. And then I was sitting there the other day, and Joanne says, what's that on your on your toe? I said, what do you mean, what's on my toe? There's nothing on my toe. Well, I can't see the bottom of my feet. That's been a long time ago since I saw the bottom of my feet. So um, she says, there's a black circle on your toe. So she took a picture of it and showed it. I don't know what it is. I don't know if I want to show you that or not. Let me see. I don't know what it is. Um, uh, where's my toe? Where's my toe? Oh, she sent it to me. Uh, she sent it to me somewhere else. Where would that be? Messenger? Yes, Messenger. Well, I'll show it up close. My, my feet. That. And I don't know what it is. I didn't step on anything because I never walk without my shoes, ever. Especially in this place. Um, so I don't know. It almost looked like a perfect circle, didn't it? I don't know what it is. It's, I, first I said, oh, maybe it's a blood clot, you know, but I don't think so. I just think I must have, I don't know, maybe my cat was stuck in my desk. <laughs> I have the strangest cat, so maybe she was stuck in my toe or something in my sleep. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm telling you, the strangest. Oh, and I, w I want to show you. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, wait a minute. I'll show you one other picture. I want you. I want you to see how faithful um, Molly is. Look at her. She just took off. She she left me. She gets up in Joanne's lap and. Cuddles with her and everything. Slept with her at night. I'm telling you. She's fickled. <laughs> Got a fickle cat. <laughs> but she loved Joanne. It's so strange. It is so, so strange. I don't know if you I don't know if you've ever been to Anna Maria Oyster Bar or whatever. But we went we went the other day, my neighbor and I, 
and also when the girls were here, Nancy from She's Got Yarn and uh, Lynette and Nina, we went there too, but we ate outside. But this is the chandelier, and look, it's all oyster shells. Isn't that something? All oyster shells. And I had forgotten I took that to show you guys. But yeah, it's an oyster shell chandelier. An oyster shell chandelier. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're getting silly, Billy. Silly, Billy. And I think that's that's all I'm going to show you. So... I guess I'm going to try to put these two videos together, or else there's going to be video one and video two. That's what I'll do. Video one and video two. Okay, I got it now. That's easy to do. Video one and video two. Okay, my friends, I'm out of here. I got to finish my bag. And then, let's see. I got to put my squares back in, in my basket, laundry basket. And then I feel a little nap coming on. The back of my brain says, a nap, a nap, a nap. I nap this morning, but I'll nap again. It doesn't bother me to nap more than once a day. In fact, it feels pretty good. Okay, everybody, i talk to you later. I will see you tomorrow night. starts at 6 o'clock on Lynette, the uh, Charm Grammys. Um, channel and um i've got uh quite a few i got but and you can help me you can help me count them because i don't want to count them ahead of time take them out of the bag and all that stuff so you guys um help me count them tomorrow night okay and we'll see if i make if i make my hundred tomorrow i could make my hundred tomorrow because i haven't counted them all all right, let's go, girls. I got to finish that other one so we can put that in the count, too. All right, I got things to do, pay people to go, people to meet, you know, all that kind of stuff. So I'll see you guys later. I'll see you tomorrow night. Take care and keep looking.